Hey everybody, it's Blue Toad, and welcome back to Super Mario Odyssey. So, now that we're back in the Sand Kingdom, let's take a look at what we can do, starting off with the... the Koopa Free Running, since that's right here. So, we have to go from all the way over here, all the way around the, the, the ruins, and over to the town. Of course, the... Jaxie is going to make this very, very easily, easy to beat, probably. Actually, those electric wires, where do they go? They go a few places, but I don't think they go, like, all the way to the end. They might, though. I might need to check that, actually. Although, if this Jaxie works, it's probably just fine to use the Jaxie. I think if you take the electric wire up to the pyramid and then straight back, um down to the village, then that would be pretty good. 35 seconds, pretty, pr pretty, pretty, pretty good, you know, could be a little bit faster probably. I still want a power moon that I can hold in real life, please, and also colored, multiple colored moons. They've all got the, like, slight rainbow glow around the edges. But I want more color. More. Give me more. Okay, let's try using the wires this time. Even though I'm probably going to lose because of that. Okay, just go, just go, just go, just go. Just go, just go, just go. The wires are actually up here. Except the camera changing there is not exactly what I'd call great. Yeah, this feels a lot slower, I guess. Actually, if I grab this thing... No, this still feels slow. I'm concerned now. I am concerned. Oh, oh no. Oh no. Oh, but no. Well, I lost. Okay, so that's not actually a good straight... Tra tra uh, I can't even words anymore. Okay, let's not... Hang on. So I know I just ruined that, but I also want to see what happens if I take just the Ys instead of trying to use the Jaxie. No, what's it called? The glider... lizard thing. Go, 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 go. Because there's another Y over here, and I think the Ys are actually going to be faster than just taking the lizard glider thing. Yeah, this is a lot faster now that I'm doing this. Just by a few seconds. 33 seconds is pretty good on that. <laughs> the... What's it called? Jaxi is probably just the better option, though. Sand Kingdom Master Cup. Very nice. So, now if we go around this building... There's all these posters of Bowser's wedding here, which isn't even going to happen anymore. Who put up these posters? They're an eyesore, littering up the place. So, let's get rid of them, since he doesn't like them. None of them give you coins, but... Oh well. Hang on. Need to try and... Oh, oh dear. I was trying to use motion controls to... Um... Get those... Like, throw a cappy and then have them go up or down, depending. Like that. Um, but there's also just these cactuses here to help you get them all. And also just ground pounding. Ground pound jumping is useful as well. But anyway, let's grab that moon. Wow, thanks for cleaning up the place. Is that actually what he said? Thanks for cleaning all that up. Okay, close enough. Um, now, I believe that one there is Lady Goomba, so we're going to actually have to get a Goomba... All the way over here. So let's head over to where the Grimbas are and grab one. Uh, there's also the Moonblock pipe over here that we can do. So let's do that real quick. And there's probably nothing in the air that I can remember. This is actually a very interesting secret area. Because 
It's collapsing now that we're standing on it, so we have to use these running flowers. And we have to run up on this wall to go through here. We need to grab this key for a extra moon, I believe. Go, 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 go. I really like this secret area. I mean, it's difficult if you fail it. But it's fairly, fairly good, so. Yep, and now all that is submerged in the poison. And it's still submerging in the poisoning, poison slightly. I could, I could hear it for a little bit longer after it, went, after it went under. Sinking Colossal Ruins, hurry. And let's grab a Goomba. Because we're gonna go on a journey. The Legend of Goomba. Oh, there's just a moon right in the middle of that thing over there. Well, I'll get that eventually. I don't know if it's faster to... I think it's just faster to run instead of jumping. Actually, it might be about the same. Especially if I've already got the momentum going. No, it might be slowing myself down slightly. Oh well. We have to go a long way anyway. Kicking up sand behind us. <laughs> this is such a long way to go. For a moon. Is it over that way? I think it's over that way. I could look at the map. Yeah, it is over that way. How did the Lady Goomba get over here? I guess she does just appear out of nowhere when you get close to Rosemara and then away from her. But still. Let's grab that. Love at the edge of the desert. Why is she ho so happy? Well, she's not anymore. Why can I not ground pound on the enemy? Anyway. Uh, let's go. Probably over there. And I think the fastest way over there would probably be by taking the wires, so... Let's see if I can actually get up there and do that. Apparently not. There we go. That was perfect. What happened? I don't even know. Anyway, that's all that done, so let's go over the top of this. We've already got this moon. And these purple coins. So let's just jump down here. Oh, almost. I was trying to use the compass as a marker for where to ground pound. Okay, moon block level, which is really cool. Because we've got this ice water here, and these uh, squid things. Hashtag squid things. <laughs> you know? But anyway, we need to get through this area with all the poison in it. With... The squids... Shooting the water out. So let's go through here. I feel like I missed... The secret moon. Through the, the freezing waterway. Yeah, that feels definitely like the end there, so I don't know where I missed it. I was just going super fast to try and get through this entire thing. Um, it's probably up in one of these areas, if I had to guess. So it's probably like up here, right through here. Please have enough water. Well, that was close. But anyway, let's grab that, and we're out of here. The hidden room. So, I'll, um, let's go up to the tower. I'm so glad that I can just teleport out of a secret area. Halfway through. Now where is this moon? Is it down? Is it in? It's probably in the pixel thing. The 8-bit mural. I feel like I said that wrong, but I also feel like I said that right, which is concerning. Oh, that was very close. But anyway. Over 
here somewhere should be the notes that we need to take take notes of everything that's happening right now oh except for that and I love how the music changes to be in the 8-bit format thing ah, I love the 8-bit levels and I can never stop talking about it that was bad Okay, so let's go get the one that's over this way, since it's just in the middle of nowhere compared to everything else. There's one down there that we can get in a minute. There's just a lot to do around here, apparently. Oh my goodness, this seems like a really bad idea. Just going... Oh my goodness. That's completely my fault because I was going ahead. Ah. I mean, I was so close to getting it though. If I didn't have Cappy out at that one bit where I bounced off of him, I would have grabbed the moon for sure. But anyway, I can grab these coins while I'm here, I guess, since I'm gonna wait anyway now. Oh, careful. Activate that. I don't know if that's going to give me coins. I, it would be nice. Oh, it does give me coins. Interesting. So th there is actually a reason to actually activate those because it gives you coins. Only a few, but still. It's coins. Coins are coins. And I also have to make this jump for this moon no matter what. So there we go. In the skies above the canyon. Also, on this moving platform we can still warp away. Even though it's technically floating, it still counts as a platform, so... Okay, let's go ahead and grab this one down here since it's literally just jumped down to it. Or jump up to it, probably. Into the flowing sands. Um, There's one there. There's one there. Oh, there's actually two there. No, one there. Uh, one there and then one there. Let's get that one since that one's a little bit tricky to get. It's not that far away from where I currently am, but I'm going to teleport anyway. So this one is a little bit out of the way and requ requires motion controls to get, in my opinion. You could probably do it without motion controls, but it's still really useful to have them. And I messed up already. Cool. Um, but we need to get up on one of these platforms here and have the bullet bill get over here as well. Have to go up again though. Okay. Bullet Bill, please follow me. Cappy Bounce, and then when we're over here, let's grab this Bullet Bill, and we need to shake as much as possible and try to get it all the way over here without it exploding, and then miss by one second. I was so close. But that's basically what we have to do, is just get the bullet bill over there. I think if I was on the other platform that's closer to that edge, I could probably do a little bit better at that. So let's go over here and then grab that now. And shake, 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 shake. I wish the camera was showing where I was supposed to be going. There we go. That one's very out of the way and very difficult to get. Kind of. On the eastern pillar. Let's get the one over here and figure out what the other ones are. There was a... It's not this one, is it? No. I think the one that came past at the very end of last episode was one that I possibly needed to get. Possibly? Unless I already got one that was roaming the, des the desert. Anyway, Island in the Poison Swamp. And let's go do the Koopa foot tracing thing, which should be fairly easy since I got it, I'm pretty sure, perfect last time. Need to get 90 points, I think, to win? Or 80. No, it is 90. Oh, I jumped. It does actually track jumping, which is interesting because you never have to jump for one of these. So, anyway. Oh, that was terrible. 93 points. I still made it. Why did I do so well the first time? <laughs> when I'm doing terrible now. More walking in the desert. Because I've been doing that anyway. 
So let's head over to the desert oasis. And we're almost done with this world already. But what is this one over here? I don't remember exactly. Oh, hang on, I passed it. It's back over here. Is it in the tree? It's in the tree. That's simple enough. We just need to get up there. And then... Get it. That was the most roundabout way to grab that. Mighty leap from the palm tree. Ground pound jump would have been better. Okay, we've got a few more to go. So let's head up to this island. We've also almost gone through all of the kingdoms as well. So where is it down here? Oh, it's probably one of those bunnies. Can I land on this bunny? And have that give me the thing instantly? Oh my goodness. That is amazing. <laughs> That's actually incredible. That's actually probably my recommended strategy for getting that now. Just jump straight on top of it from above. Otherwise use the jacksy. <laughs> but jump jumping down from above is just too good, so don't let that pass up. Okay, secret area. Well, we've got these things, and I believe that down there somewhere is a little platform that I want to land on. Because it's a secret. It's a secret. So let's jump down here and... Let's go. We're so cool now. So that gives us the key for another moon in this area. Jump onto the transparent lift. <laughs> it seems like a really bad idea to do that. So we have this entire area to go through on moving platforms. And speaking of moving platforms, this one goes all the way to the end. We need to make sure that we're in the right places to not fall off. This whole way. Oh, that's not good. Okay, it's fine. Just need to get back over here, and then this bit over here, we're gonna actually need to run around a bit, probably. Just because of how... ...far apart those are. But there we go. Very nice. Where the transparent platforms end. Also, there's just a random hole at the end of this thing here. But anyway, that should be just about everything we can do right now. How many moons do we have? 83 out of 89. So there are a few that I need to go do still, like Finding Peach. Right, where is Peach? Probably on the pyramid. Let's head all the way up there. Okay. Not there. Over here. Thanks to this huge stone thing, uh, uh, to think this huge stone thing, stone thing could float. The world is full of wonders. How does it float? Why what? Why is it in inverted? So mysterious. I even found a power moon in the sand. Take good care of it. I just realized something about Peach and her traveling the world. Oh, I can't really see it. Hang on. Quit. I don't know if this is a better position to see it from. But on her... Hang on, come on. That should work. On her bag are the stickers that you get from each kingdom. That's actually really cool. That is really, really cool. Anyway, let's see what else we have to do. There's one thing that I want to kind of wait for. But also, it probably wouldn't matter too much if I just did it. Oh, I remember one. It's on the opposite side here. 
Hello, Toad. Hello! I'm traveling all over in search of all... <laughs> of all different kinds of music. I wonder if you might know of some music that lifts... that fits a certain theme. Memories of a tough battle. Uh, memories of a tough battle. So do you want a boss fight music or something? I guess so. What's one that would be really good? Bowser battle? Brutal battle? I can't... I don't know if I th really like any of them that much. Let's go cock cockatiel battle. Yes, that's it. This is the music I wanted to hear. Jammin' in the Sand Kingdom. Here's some special Metro Kingdom music for you. New Donk City Festival 8-bit. Hope you like it. Well, it was given to me. So, let's go find it. Very nice. It's Jump Up Superstar in 8-bit form. Very nice. Uh, found with Sand Kingdom Art. Oh, I didn't read that one. <laughs> Good job, me. Hang on. Uh, binding Band Returned. That one, that one's a good one. Hat and Seek in the Sand. Okay, so we have to do Hat and Seek. Um, and also, for the hint art that we need to do, is, I believe, right over here, for what looks like the Bowser Kingdom. So we'll do that, uh, but anyway, we also need to go into the underground. The best way we can do that is actually by going into the hole where the boss was. Since that's the direct route to where we need to be. So good. So, if we go up here, this little thing over here is where the Binding Man is supposed to be. Which is cool because it's glowing on top of it. And if we ground pound, gives us a moon. It's so cool. I really like that. Um, let's see, what else was there? Hat and Seek. Um, I don't remember where it is exactly, but I'm, <laughs> I don't even know if I know where the hat that's looking for him is. Actually, I might... No, yep, there he is. His friend is looking for him. Hmm, you found me, but, but how? I was so well hidden. I'll give you this if you keep my hiding spot a secret. Anyway, I'm just not leaving this spot until I get some shaved ice. Okay then. So, let's check the talker to. Oh, that's just it, apparently. How many moons do we have? 87 out of 89. That checks out. Cool. Let's head to the next kingdom. Probably gonna have to stop the music, sadly. Got a good listen to it. So, Lake Kingdom. I'm probably gonna do two things quickly before we move onto the block here. So, if we head down to the flower we, or plant we, that we planted ages ago. Oh, I already did that? 
Oh, I guess I already did that. Well, anyway, there's the other hint art. So, let's look at that really quick. That's that, so... So, up here is where it is. Like, right there. Like, right... Right here. Like, like, right, right, right there. Like, maybe over here. Like, maybe I'm slightly lost. I feel like it's close-ish to this thing. I don't even know what it's called. Is it there? No. Is it here? There it is. I was way off. Okay. <laughs> Never mind. Founder of Metro Kingdom Art. That one's been waiting for me for a while. By the way, the block's all the way over near the beginning, so let's go check that. Need to go up here. Interesting, no ice in the lake kingdom. Ah, just a few. Not many, it's a small kingdom. So, let's take a look at doing that then. I believe the first one is right here, behind this wall, so it's very easy to do. Ow. I bonked. It's also nice to see these pink moons again. They're very smooth looking. Like every other moon, but anyway. Um, there's also one there, which is an interesting one because there's a glowing bird that we need to get, so let's do that then. Bird traveling over the lake. Oh, Cooper free running. Well, Cooper free running free free, 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 free free running is good. So let's do that. Because I believe for the Cooper free running, you're supposed to take the underground tunnel. Probably? Yes. So we can do that triple jump hat bounce and skip the tunnel and then we'll be really good oh my goodness perfect absolutely amazing oh my goodness what did I do I don't even know what I did but it was good. Can I just go straight across? Thirty six seconds. Just under thirty seven. Very nice. I think I could do possibly a little bit better at that. But that was still really good. Didn't even see any of the other races. So let's do the advanced one. I just don't know how to get to the end super quickly. From the halfway point, I guess. Ow. I'm in hyper focus mode right now. Oh no, I'm... No! Yes! 35 seconds. I was trying to... I can't even words. I was trying to save some time on my PB. But there we go. And also, I just noticed that, like, at the start of that race, I noticed that this, um, this thing here has coins around it. And I feel like that means that there's a, um, <laughs> I, um, something that's not quite right with it. <laughs> I'll, I'll just, oh my goodness. Wait, 
something really funny about having a car with a sail on top of it. Taxi flying through the lake. I don't even... Lake Lamode. I think that's what it's called. I've always... Like, I thought it was Lake Lemonade at first, but no. It's like Lamode or something like that. Probably saying it wrong, but anyway. So, I believe we've not got a ton left to do in this kingdom. But that is it for now, so thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time.